For me, she's the ultimate international athlete. Rudgy is a unique person. Everyone respects her highly and I think she's a brilliant leader. She's the ultimate professional and that's proved in, in all the games that she's represented England with pride. And now Rudge, and Rudge has some space. And it's another England try. When I got that first card, probably come up sooner than I thought I was going to get it. I was only 16 and it, my debut was against Australia in the World Cup. Um, and I was I was playing scrum half as well, so a lot, lot of pressure. <laughs> um, I think just, you know, I kind of obviously didn't really know what to expect, never, never have been in that position before. Um, really nervous, but just absolutely loved it. Just absolutely loved knowing that I was playing on like the highest stage that I could get. 2009, I think I met Roger, and uh, she was a young chicken then. And um, yeah, I think was she was like 16, 17. And she was quite young, but so bubbly, so full of character. and. She wasn't bothered about anyone, she just got stuck in and, that, and, that's, and she's continued to do that and it, it's kind of nice that we've, we've, got that, we've been on that journey together. For me, I think she can be really proud because she's really set the stall. She's, she's one of those first of this new generation of players where we are role models now. We are getting a little bit more profile and actually she's going to be a role model for so many young girls and there'll be England internationals in the next few years that have been inspired to play because of what Emily Rudge has done. I don't think she realises the influence that she has on people around her and, and for me, you know, getting the opportunity to play next to her, it's, it's great because she's so vocal, supportive, it's calm and I, I just feel honoured that I'm having the opportunities to be, you know, be playing next to her at England but also a club. To be captain in 2019 was just such a such an honour, such an amazing like experience, and um, I think just all, at the time really sort of surprised that I'd, that I'd been given that opportunity to to captain the side. You know, I, I think I kind of still considered myself one of the younger players, and, and um, you're not really looked up to as a younger player. But then the older players had moved on, and and a lot of them had retired, and then it was kind of you know we were the the next generation of leaders. I think she's a brilliant leader, you know, she knows when to have a laugh and when not to, she knows when to say things, she's always telling us young ones off, so she, know, she knows what to do, but yeah, she's a brilliant leader. The younger generation, you know, they will look up to Rudge, because they'll have seen her come in at such a young age, and you know, they'll have followed her journey, I'm sure, and they'll, they'll look at Rudge and think, well, that's our captain, is that, is that what I need to be? To, you know, do I need to be like Rudge? And you know, they'll learn a lot from her. Papua New Guinea, you know, that was sort of the first proper tour that I got the opportunity to be captain. Um, and then in that first game, I somehow scored four tries and had not scored for like the previous 10 years for England. I knew that she was actually performing off me. I don't think any of them were my passes particularly. It was just that, you know, she runs such great lines, really hard, strong carrier of the ball. And she absolutely dominated that, dominated that game. And I think that tour as a whole was absolutely brilliant performer. She's just worked so hard, like I see her every week at training and she just never gives up, like she's always first to just get on with it, she's always the first one to pull everyone through it. She's an advocate for the sport, you know, as well as herself and I just think she's just great and I think the younger generation can take a lot away from her. I'm really proud of what she's done so far but she's absolutely not finished, she's got a World Cup to win which I'm hoping she's going to do at the end of the year. She's been really influential on Rugby League, she's got a big following. Um, a lot of young girls look up to her. I know like a lot of us, you know, want to play like Rudgie, you know, the, the way she hits her lead lines, the way she is on the pitch, off the pitch. She's just a, a good advocate for the game. Well, obviously being, you know, the most capped England player, like, how, how amazing would that be to, you know, win the World Cup and being the most capped player, but also just being an amazing leader and, you know, she's our captain. And to be able to win that World Cup, be the most capped player, and be our captain, like that has got to be the overall biggest achievement that anybody can do within rugby league.